Hi, first grade families and friends. It's Miss Burns here, and we are back with week five, day one of math. So we have moved beyond place value and organizing and categorizing data, and now we are going to start a brand new unit on geometry. Now, geometry is just a fancy way of saying the study of shapes. So we're going to take a look at shapes and see how we can manipulate them in the, so that we can see them better in the real world. And we'll also start talking next week about cutting things in halves and in quarters. Here's what we're doing this week. This week, we're just going to be exploring shapes and how we can use 2D and 3D shapes to make other shapes. So we're in 1G1, that's our first geometry standard. And today we're gonna to work on defining attributes of shapes. Here's what we're talking about. We're gonna be able to tell the difference between defining attributes which are the number of sides or the number of vertices, and non-defining attributes, size, color, and position in a shape. And we're also going to be able to identify shapes based on their defining attributes. Now you might be saying, Miss Burns, you're talking a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo using all these big words. What on earth are attributes? Well, let me give you a real life example. As many of you know, I have three cats. Two of them are brothers and they look kind of like this cat over here, Baby Lobster and Pungy. And then our other cat is named Huey. Now, Huey is white. He has a little bit of orange on his fur and he's much smaller than both Baby Lobster and Punch. Baby Lobster and Pungy are orange. They have some brown stripes on them. They both have green eyes. Huey has blue eyes. Now, it doesn't matter that Huey is smaller than his brothers. It doesn't matter that his eyes are blue while his brother's eyes are brown. They're all cats. Well, how do I know that they're all cats? Because cats have some common attributes or things that we know that are the same about them all the time. Cats always have four legs, unless something happened to them. They have two ears. They have two eyes. They have a tail, and that tail moves around a lot, depending on what they're doing. They have whiskers, and they also have claws. If you see an animal that has these attributes, you're probably talking about a cat. Now, does it matter that they're different colors? No. Does it matter that they're different sizes? No, because their attributes are the same. The attributes are what make them cats. Well, the same thing is true for shapes. Shapes have attributes, and some of those attributes are defining, and some of those attributes are non-defining. Defining attributes are the things that you see that stay the same. For example, the number of sides and the number of vertices. Remember from kindergarten, vertices is just a fancy name for corners. So I know this shape right here is a square, because squares always have four equal sides and four vertices. That's how I know it's a square. I have another shape down here. Well, that shape is called a triangle. How do I know? Because the defining attributes of a triangle are that it has three sides and three vertices. The number of sides and the number of vertices are the defining attributes of shapes. Non-defining attributes are things you see that can change. If the size changes, the color changes, or the position or the way that something is located changes, it's not gonna change what the shape is. We have a group of squares here. I have two that are blue, one is purple, one is green. I have two that are bigger than the others. Does it matter that this square is much smaller than the one beside it? No, because size is a non-defining attribute. They both have four sides, one, two, three, four, and four vertices, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Those are the defining attributes that make them squares. Does it matter that one square is purple and one is green? No, because color is not a defining attribute. It is a non-defining attribute. What matters is that these both have four sides and four vertices. Does it matter the position that this green square is moved a little bit on its side? Nope, because it still has four equal sides and four equal vertices. 
Same with our group of triangles. I know all of these are triangles because my defining attributes of triangles are the number of sides, three, and the number of vertices, three. All of these shapes over here have three sides and three vertices. It doesn't matter that we have a small one and a big one. Doesn't matter that some are orange, some are blue, some are purple. Doesn't matter that some of them are turned sideways. I know a triangle is a triangle because its defining attributes are that it has three sides and three vertices. Now let's take a look at some other examples. I have a group of shapes here. I bet you guys know what these are. What are these? Exactly, these are squares. Now, let's talk about what some of the defining attributes of these squares are. Well, I know that squares have four equal sides. It's important that we know that they're equal. And four vertices. Vertices are just fancy names for corners. More than one is vertices. If you just have one, it's a vertex. So here's my four equal sides. One side, two sides, three sides, four sides. Four vertices. One, two, three, four. These shapes are all squares. Does it matter that the purple one is much bigger than the orange one? Nope. Size doesn't matter. Does it matter that one is purple and one is orange? Nope. Color doesn't matter. Does it change anything if I move these around? No. They still have four equal sides and four vertices. These are the defining attributes of a square. All right, let's make it a little bit trickier. Let's see who can remember the name of this shape. Ooh, what's this one? Well, I remember talking about a shape before that has defining attributes with six sides and six vertices. We call that a hexagon. Now I can draw another hexagon in here. Let's make this one really teeny tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's little itty bitty baby. But as long as your shape has six sides and six vertices, it is a hexagon. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six sides and one, two, three, four, five, six vertices, both hexagons. What if I make a shape that looks crazy like this? One, two, three, four, five. six, seven. Would that be a hexagon? Hmm, let's count up our sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertices. Is that still a hexagon? No, it's not. Because instead of having six sides and six vertices, it has seven. Our defining attributes tell us how many sides and how many vertices a shape has. Those are what define the shape, not the color, not the size, not the position. One more group. What are these friends? You're right, these are all triangles. Now how do we know that these are triangles? What are some of their defining attributes? That's right three sides and three vertices. Does it matter that some of them are big and some of them are small? Nope. Because remember, size is a non-defining attribute. We care about the number of sides and the number of vertices. Does it matter that some are orange, some are green, and some are brown? No, it does not. Does it matter that some are turned on their side? or I can turn them however I want to. Still a triangle, still a triangle, still a triangle, still a triangle. Why? Because this has one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. Is this a triangle? Yes, it is. One, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. How about now? Still a triangle? Yes, it is. Because remember, size, color, and position do not change a shape. Those are non-defining attributes. Defining attributes 
are the number of sides and number of vertices in a shape. So as you are working on the questions in your form, keep in mind that defining attributes of a shape are what always stay the same about that shape, the number of sides and number of vertices, size, color, and position can change. Go ahead and click right below the video and you can complete your assignment. See you guys tomorrow.